Before starting work, it's a good idea to do a quick scan of the site and note any faults or difficult aspects of the job. When working on two-storey houses, it's important to check the stability of any scaffolding before I climb on it. As soon as the ceiling fixer is finished, I can start flushing. He's been working for the past two days, cutting sheets of gyp rock to fit the walls and roof sections. All the sheets are supplied. It's a matter of measuring the distance to be covered, planning how he's going to put pieces together, then bring them inside. It's important to be mindful of any wires that need to be pulled through, insulation that needs to be added, and tricky little returns. These days, screw guns make the job much easier and panel lifters assist with the ceilings. Chris is a good operator. He always glues joined pieces over the roof panels to give extra strength. Good morning, Chris. How you going, Brian? Yeah, good, mate. Yourself? Yeah, not too bad at all. A couple of things to look out for. Got jibber up reveals around doors and windows, um, and obviously cornice up around the tops. Um, pretty straightforward. We've got timber architraves around the doors, so most screws should be covered. In the meantime, I can start measuring the lengths of cornice we'll need. I try to use as much of the length as possible so there is little waste. The tricky part is to remember whether you're cutting an internal or external corner so you don't get the angle of the cut wrong. The cornice material is supplied to site, but as a subcontractor, I have to bring my own tools, nails and compounds to complete the job. I start by applying a base coat to the wall panel joints using tape to give extra strength. I also cover up any screws. The recesses between ceiling panels need to be smoothed over. Now that I've been in business for a while, I can afford an aims tool, so I don't have to get up on a trestle with a trowel to spread the base coat. This is much quicker and easier on the back. While that's drying, I can start putting up cornices. The cement needs to be just the right consistency, not too runny and not too sticky. Ideally, the corner should hold up by itself, but I'll tap in some nails for safety. Once it's in place, I can get it looking neat and presentable. Jase, what I want you to do, I want you to measure this cupboard here for yep. corners, measure it, cut it, yep. put it up, clean it off and finish it off for me, please. Yeah, no worries, Brian. As long as the team keeps working on something, we can maximise our time efficiency. My assistant Jason is doing his traineeship, after which he can continue a TAFE apprenticeship to get his trade certificate or work on his own doing small jobs. I started in the building industry at 15, flushing plaster glass ceilings. I've been a subcontractor for 14 years now. It takes a good year to learn the necessary skills and a couple more to build up to speed. Every job is different and I really like the challenges such as archways, bulkheads and centrepieces. Time for the second coat on the wall panels. Because I have one principal client, they know I am reliable and leave me to work independently. If I finish early, I can choose to start another job or go home and spend time with the family. It's essential to wear a mask when sanding. The dust goes everywhere. How's everything going, Brian? Yeah, good, thanks, Greg. OK, we're here in the bathroom, mate. Um, just a couple of things we need to know. Um, we have the 6mm uh, villa board in the bathroom, which is a wet area protection. Um, now also in this house we're going to have full height tiles, um, so that means we won't be putting our cornice on. We also have uh, the window reveal in the house um, and in the bathroom, which they will be having a timber seal on the bottom, um, so that means we'll only need to flush in the three sides. Building a house is a team effort, because the tradesmen that follow me are relying on my job having been done properly. 
The great thing about the building industry is I get to see other trades at work and learn other skills I can put to use in my own home. In running my own business, I have to factor in costs for petrol, maintenance, insurance, and new equipment. And remember to keep all my receipts. Thanks a lot for that, mate. Okay, I'll see you next time then. It takes a day and a half to complete the flushing on a standard home. In my travels, I always go past houses and buildings I've worked on. It's interesting to see how they end up. 